Remember Abby Furco? She was given two days to live. Her mom picked a funeral home. Music and her eulogy was being written. But that was more than a year ago. And while Abby is still in and out of the hospital, she's doing something for others like her. It's all new at 5.30. Pint size but full of personality. Abby Furco, now 10, well, 11 in four days. Once a month, we go, I go in for an infusion. She has no cancer in her body now, but the journey was rough at times. Last summer, I almost died, so. She was given 48 hours to live. I really want to make sure that won't happen to any other kids. Emotional for this little girl who's seen so much, been through so much. Tell about the sock design. Yes, let's talk about the socks. After all, that's why we visited Abby's house. They help kids like me who have gone through treatment. Abby designed these. I love how they did a great job on the bunny. The socks feature oh, Carrot, the yeah. bunny who never left her side during treatment, and the chef's hat, well, because that's her passion. Her zest for life caught the attention of Jake Teitelbaum, founder of the Resilience Project. We caught up with a 23-year-old in Spain, a trip his mother planned because he beat cancer too. He told me after several visits to the hospital, he decided to ditch the beige hospital socks for his own. I made a point of, of doing something very small, but something fairly significant, and that was just wearing my own socks. So thus, the Resilience Project was born, allowing children with cancer to design socks. In just wearing, you know, something that had personal meaning to me, it, it kind of allowed me to, to reframe that experience. An experience these two share, an unfortunate bond, but one that's pushing them, survivors, to help other children striving to survive. And you can buy the socks for $20 until the end of the month. That's because September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Proceeds go to St. Baldrick's and back to the Resilience Project. To donate or purchase, just click this story. It's on wavy.com.